Welcome back to the Hollywood News Channel, where we update you with the latest news of the day. Hello, everyone, and welcome back. The debate over the end of Titanic and whether Leo DiCaprio's Jack could have fitted on the door that saved the life of Rose, played by Kate Winslet, has raged for years. And now Celine Dion has weighed in on the dilemma. Jimmy Fallon questioned the singer 51 about it when she appeared on his Tonight Show on Friday. He asked, could Jack have survived if Rose just scooted over a little bit? Celine, who sang the film's theme song, My Heart Will Go On in 1997, was quick to reply. Don't put me in trouble. What if they want to do a Titanic number two, she joked. First of all, if you look closely at the picture, Rose is maybe dead or totally frozen, and she's not quite all there, okay? Second of all, he doesn't need an invitation. Come on, baby, make himself comfortable. Jump in, you know? And then, who did not think about this guy who is in the middle of the frozen ocean and that maybe all his body is so frozen that he didn't have the strength to Celine trailed off? She's not the first star who's been asked the same question. Director James Cameron was forced to explain himself when he spoke to BBC Radio 1's film critic, Harry Plum, in February. He called the idea that the two characters could have shared the door a dumb argument that was just stupid. In a previous interview with Vanity Fair, the director explained that Jack would have died in a film even if he had climbed on the door. He said, I think it's all kind of silly, really. There we are having this discussion 20 years later, but it does show that the film was effective in making. Jack so endearing to the audience that it hurts them to see him die. Had he lived, the ending of the film would have been meaningless. The film is about death and separation. He had to die. Meanwhile, Leo's Once Upon a Time in Hollywood co-star Brad Pitt and Margot Robbie also weighed in on his Titanic craft controversy. Could you have squeezed in there? You could have, couldn't you? Brad needled his grinding castmate during an MTV News interview in July. Margot admitted to bawling her eyes out when she saw Leo's tragic scene and agreed that it was the biggest controversy in modern cinema ever. In 2012, Discovery Channel's Mythbusters recreated the scene, but the two men only managed to stay afloat out of the water by tying Rose's life preserver underneath the raft. At $200 million, Titanic was the most expensive movie ever made at the time, but the critically acclaimed blockbuster went to amass $2.1 billion at the box office and win 11 Academy Awards. Thank you so much for joining us and see you in the next video. Bye! Thank you for watching the Hollywood News. Don't forget to like and share the updates to the latest information of the day.